Hey guys, it's Typical Psych Repair. Today we're going to be doing a clutch on a 1982 GL500. This is take two. I started doing it yesterday and got rained on. So, uh, doing it again today. We're going to loosen the clutch here to take all the slack. So when you pull the cover off, you can just easily um, swing the cover out of the way. So I'm just using the two barrel adjustments here. I'll swing this all the way loose, wiggle the cable so that it goes all the way down. Then I'm going to go up top and uh, disconnect the cable from the lever so I know that I'm fully uh, fully relaxed on this. So it'll make it easier. Stand by. All right, so we're going to take off this cover here so that uh, all the uh, oil can drain. These are all the same size. Now in this one, I have a new gasket. So now taking out these um, spring screws here, the screws that have the springs that compress, keep pressure on your um, plates. We're gonna take these off and when we do these, we're going to do them in sequence. You can do two of them at once as long as it's opposite. So if I want to take off this one and that one, let's say, we can take those all the way off and the plate will be fine. It's not going to move. All right, so when you're taking the other ones off, if it rocks like this, it's fine. All right, so we can take these just about all the way off. All right, so they're all the way out. If you want to keep them in to make sure your springs don't go anywhere, you can do that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to take these other two off. Now when you take these other off, take them back and forth and back and forth. So I do a little bit. So I'm just going to crack it loose here. Crack it loose here. And you're releasing this whole plate here. The whole plate's going to come up with the bearing. So do a little bit here. A little bit there. And then you're going to get to a point where everything is loose here. Okay, nothing's held on anymore. You just take them out by hand. Hold the center so your springs don't fall. All right. So I'm just going to hold this right here. Take all these 10 millimeters out. All the same size again. Right, and you can take the center plate off and all the springs should sit right there. And I'm going to remove the springs. All right, so now we're looking at the pressure plate. Now the difference um, with these here and from a regular clutch is that on a regular standard clutch where it pushes from the other side, an engine, uh, let's say a, an engine that's the um, that's regular direction, this is kind of sideways, these corkscrew engines, um, but normally you'd have a push rod coming through the center and it pushes the outer plate. This one is different and those springs are pushing the plate and here's our plate right here. So we have to take this off. To get this off, we got to get that center nut off. So you need a special tool for it. All right, so I have a tool right here. Um, this is just one that um, was kind of custom made a little bit to work. So you're going to have to uh, either purchase one or there's a couple of videos on how to make them. And you can make them out of a 24 millimeter socket and just cut the piece pieces off so you got nibs like that. All right, so now to lock it in place so that we can get the um, center nut off, I have the spring and I'm using a nut with a washer on it. I've already got three of them on here. And we're just going to put this on and we're going to tighten them up evenly. So we, because we want pressure on the um, plates and then I have the bike in fifth gear right now. And then I'm going to just apply the brake while I break that nut. Okay, I'm not making these tight, just 
This is till they're snug so I know that we got max pressure on it. All right, so those are on there now. Now we'll have some pressure in the inside plate. Otherwise, when you put this on and try to turn it, it would just spin. So now with it in fifth gear, I got the brake pedal right here. I'm gonna apply the brake. Let me get this here set up so that I can break it free. All right, and look at that, it came off. I didn't even have to step on the brake just from that pressure. All right, here you can see the nut. Now the nut is free. So now let me take the nut off. So there's the nut, then the washer, just behind it. Okay, now we're going to loosen these back up again. Take all these out. All right, so now with the uh, pressure plate released from that nut, we'll be able to pull it out. All right, and usually the whole clutch may come out with it, the whole uh, clutch pack and everything. What you want to keep in mind here is that these clutch plates are they're not all the same. This outside one has a wider um, tab on it to fit in. So when you pull this out, you may get some of them, you may get half of them. Uh, that, you know, you make they may all come out, but when we put it back in, we're going to want to put it on the um, the pressure plate first, and then slide it all in, and I'll show you why when we get it out. So let's go ahead and take this out. All my metals and fibers should come out. I want to I want to leave the clutch basket in there, and there goes my. gasket and one of the metals jump ship so we'll get him back over here some more fibers all right so now the whole clutch pack is out with the clutch pack out Make sure you don't lose this washer in the center. Make sure it didn't come out with it. That's got to stay in there. All right, so make sure that that's in there and everything is still in place, all right? We want that all to be in place. Check all the fingers of your clutch. Make sure you don't have any damage, any cracks. If this clutch basket is um, worn really bad, where you have a lot, of, a lot of fingers that are grooved, you're going to have problems engaging uh, the clutch. It won't be smooth. So uh, let's put the uh, new clutch back in. I've already soaked it in uh, oil. The new clutch is fully soaked. All right, so it's soaked in the bag with some oil. All right, so let me bring you over here to the uh, where I'm doing the clutch. All right, so when you look at this, we got seven plates here. We have seven plates in the new pack. There's uh, the order that these go in. If you look, there's kind of a double one here. It's for chatter or whatever this is for. There, there are different reasons. Um, they have this one right here that's in the middle, kind of double. I pay attention to that one and also your outside one that's the biggest. Um, so what you can do here is just take this whole thing out and the reason you want to do this off the bike and then slide the whole thing on is because the grooves here in the pressure plate you want to if, if you threw all these into the bike first into the basket you would have to line all these up as you're putting it in which is is a pain so let's take our um, new clutch out all right so we have all the plates are the same except for one of them this one right here, this top one, is a little bit fatter, as you can see. So that's the one that's going to go on first. All right, so we're going to just put them all in order. We have our the first one that lays in there, all right, just sits in there. Then we'll take our first one off, move it out of the way, take our metal, another fiber, This is that double thickness metal one here. Another 
subscriber. Now you can take all these metals and you can uh, kind of scuff them up or clean them however you want. This clutch didn't feel that bad. I can just tell that it was slipping a little bit. So uh, sometimes when you rough them up, they'll grab a lot and they will tear up your new fibers. So keep that in mind. Now, remember our pressure plate is our last metal. You want to make sure you're always going from metal to fiber, metal, fiber, metal, fiber. I'm going to line up these tabs the best I can, and then I'm going to go slide it back on the bike. All right, so now putting it back in, we're just going to guide the whole thing in. Here we go. All right, we're just hanging low on the bottom there. So now we got it all back in. Make sure you're all the way in. Everything is inside of the... Uh, clutch basket fingers right there and now we're going to put the uh, washer nut back on so the washer has uh, some wording on it. it says this side out all right it's right on there make sure that side is out then the center nut has an angle on it all right it's a uh, two side has a flat and then an angle we're putting the angle in all right now we're going to put the springs and the washers back on all right, so the center nut torque is from uh, 58 to 72 foot-pounds. I'm going to do 65 foot-pounds. You're going to need to apply the rear brake in fifth gear to get this uh, locked on all the way. So I'm going to try to do this with my knee on the brake. See what we get. There we go. That's 65. All right, 65 foot-pounds on that. So now we're going to take these off and get the center uh, spring plate back on there with the bearing. All right, so with these, we're going with eight foot-pounds. Whenever you go, whenever I go like below, I don't know, 15 foot-pounds, I go to an inch-pound torque. So um, using uh, inch-pounds, eight foot-pounds is 96 inch-pounds. All right, so we're going to go ahead and zap these almost all the way in evenly back and forth. Okay, eight foot pounds is, is very light. Next one. I'm going to go grab my new gasket and we'll put the new gasket on. Alright, so I'm using a new Honda OEM gasket. Alright, brand new. And it's got, these gaskets have a little tab on it. Um, I like to put the tab lined up with the, um, this little, this little tab right there. I just line it up where the um, pressure shaft is that goes down to the center where the uh, cable is connected to. Not sure that it really matters, but that's that's just how I do it. So we're going to line that up. I'm going to throw a bolt into one of the holes to help hold the gasket in place. Make sure this hasn't fallen anywhere. Make sure it's still sitting right in there. Right, let me we'll move you back a little to get a better view. All right, so we're going to put the bolt in there just to kind of hold the gasket in place. One started there, one started in the bottom. And I'm going to spin these all the way in, and then we'll go ahead and torque them back up. I'm going to torque these to the same, uh, eight foot-pounds. Seven, eight foot-pounds for these are just fine.
All right, let's torque them back up. All right, guys, so when you're done with this, make sure you top your oil back up. Adjust your clutch cable. And you're ready to go out and burn up your new clutch. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, guys. This is Tepco Psycho Repair.